Hello everyone. So in this video, we'll see about this glue bookmark functionality. So in the last, uh, in the previous video, uh, we just created this uh, job, so which is to read the uh, data using data uh, data catalog, then load them into a S3 bucket as a packet file. Okay. So when you see the job details, there's option called bookmark job bookmark. So this is mainly to specify how AWS Glue process jobs bookmark when the jobs run. It can remember the previous process data, enable update state information passed, and ignore state state, uh, state information. So these are three options we have. So it will remember the previous process data state as well as if you want to ignore that, that also we can disable here. So basically, like if you will remember the previous process date, that is called enable and the update state can be passed update state information can be passed using the pass one and ignore state information that is disabled here so let's see with the disable option here like we last uh, in the previous one we we disabled this one and what we do right now is like uh, let me delete delete all this folder from this bucket this is our uh, target bucket We have deleted this one. Similarly, in the input also, there is a uh, uh, item file. Delete this one as well. Okay. So this is my input bucket. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to place a file in this one in this um, in input for input. So add a file here. So this is my item one file. I'm just uh, uploading into this bucket. It's uploaded now. Okay, so now it's uploaded. Now what we're going to do is I'm going to run this job. So if you see the uh, uh, data of this one, click on this one. Uh, so if I run this, I uh, foresee the data. So closely we have 10 records in this particular file closely like uh, 10 records 1 to 10 10 records we have in this file and now let's run the glue job now so this is the glue job which is going to read the file using data catalog then write the data into a steep bucket okay let's go click on run this option run this job so now here the the parameter this bookmark parameter job bookmark is disabled uh, let's see what happens now. So the job is running now. Let's click this run details. So the job is running. It's showing it succeeded here. And let's run, check the output output folder. So this is the input folder. So we saw that we have a close to 10 records 1 to 10 here let's go to the target for uh, the uh, output bucket this is the output bucket and you could see uh, the packet files created here and let's uh, create this three, four. so if we run this SQL you could see the exact uh, 10 records been loaded loaded here okay this is this is the packet file so in, so whatever data we are available in the s3 uh, in input bucket is there now it is loaded in the target 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 bucket okay so that is what done here so let's do the let's uh, put another file into this demo for input folder now so what i'm going to do is i'm going to upload another file here add file this is the second file i'm uploading here so this is uploaded and close here so then click on this let me check this file So now you can see only we have five records here, okay? From 11 to 15, 1 to 3, 5. So totally five records here. The previous file has 10 records. So totally we have 15 records. So that is available in this S3 bucket. So the first file has uh, 10 records and the second file has five records. Totally 15 records we have. And we have this output bucket here. Output bucket just here, only one packet file with 10, 10 records. Now what we gonna do? We're gonna run the same job again with the bookmark as disabled, okay? So let's run again. You can see that bookmark is still disabled here. 
let's run the job now so now so now job is running so it's succeeded here let's go to the output output bucket now so this is the output bucket so if you see here right now we have three uh, three files here okay previously in the first run we have only one file for the second run we have two more files here okay so if you see the time here so this time is like what are the same time 1605 here so when you check the data of this one So you can see the same 10 records come up, up same 10 records comes again here in the output and also like uh, if i go to the next file so the third file click on the third file here third file we have that file records here okay so totally if you see here uh, when you have when you disable this one every time when you run the job it picks up everything whatever they are in the sd bucket it picks up everything and put them into the target folder so that's what happened here since we disabled the uh, op the job uh, job bookmark option so whenever the job runs this takes all the files from the uh, input folder input bucket okay that's what happened here so if you in that case like we kind of duplicate uh, processing right so already we have the files uh, already we have the old file in the uh, target layer but again we are taking the old file also into consideration so for that purpose we have this bookmark option so which is gonna process only the new files instead of pause the old file it just pause only the new files and skip all the old files okay let's see that now here okay so i'm just deleting all this file from this path this is my output path deleting everything here basically now now in, uh, now in the input output folder i've deleted all the files similarly in the input file i'm just deleting that item 2 file alone let's run with uh, item 1 file alone okay i'm just deleting this second file here delete object close okay so now i have the only one file in this path what i'm going to do is in the job i'm going to enable the job enable this parameter bookmark parameter here i'm just going to enable this one okay so now it is being enabled here and i'm going to save this one and i'm going to run this one okay so i'll run the job so it is job it is running now it started it's start, it's running okay so basically what we want to understand from this code here is when you look at the code here basically uh, this is what actually the code like very important to understand so basically you want this job in it code as well as you want this transformation control ctx okay so and also we need this job commit okay when once you have all this thing informations once the job is completed it's going to commit this information into into the system tables like where we have all these like till whatever the whatever files we get processed we're going to store that information with the help of these commands okay you should have this jobs in it and also you should have this transformation ctx and also you should have this job commit so when you have this one this stored the whatever the auto data being process it's going to store that information in the glue okay with the help of that it will remember the old process uh, old processed file when I mean the previous processed file okay so let's go and see the job now so i think the job is completed now is completed let's go to the uh, output bucket so now we could see we have only one file here and if i check the output here the output uh, csv you could see whether only the 10 records being loaded into the target now okay so now what we're going to do let's put add our next file into the input bucket okay this, this is the input file i'm just putting the second second file into this folder in the, into this bucket add files and second file i'm adding it so i have added two files now i mean one file now 
the previous file is with 10 records the second file is with 5 records okay and i'm going to run the job job again now So this this is very important. This this transmit control see that this is very much required as well as you have to commit this job. So then only you'll, this this information will be stored. Okay, in the cat in the in the blue. So now the job is run. Now is running now. Let's see. I think it's complete. It's running now. Oh, sure, we succeeded. Let's go to the output target here. So this is the output bucket. So now we could see that's only one. But in the previous one, we got three files. We, we saw that there were three files after second run. But now we could see only the only two files. Okay. This is the old file and the second one is the new file here. So when I click on the second part here, so if you very uh, see the data. So you could see we have only five records okay but in the previous run in the previous one we could see there were like three files where there at the end of two uh, two files but now we could see only the second file is available like only two files okay so whenever new file only the new files get processed into the target layer target target bucket okay so that's the advantage of having this bookmark parameter uh, bookmark uh, in uh, job bookmark uh, options so basically this is this bookmark when you enable this one it's going to process only the new files and all the old files will be skipped okay and as uh, when you uh, this is uh, when you uh, write when you create this through visual studio i mean through studio like uh, the blue studio obviously this these things will be there in the code but when you're writing the code uh, on by your by yourself like from scratch then you have to you uh, we have to update this uh, uh, you have to put this comma put those lines in the script okay the job in it then you should create this uh, transform ctx this command like uh, this uh, parameter we have to mention in this uh, we have to mention this one uh, this uh, for example here like here you have to mention this transformation underscore ctx and finally you have to mention this job dot commit so once you have this all these three commands then only the information will be committed then that will be like uh, stored uh, stored in the glue okay so this is all about the job, job bookmark options uh, see you in the next video